Traveling to Japan as a fan of video games is an otherworldly experience. That's what Bob Wolf from Wolfden said when he came over here on one of his game hunting trips. And I honestly couldn't have said it better myself. When I came over here five years ago, it blew my mind how accessible, cheap and available everything was from old Famicom games all the way to newer games that are just second hand and people didn't need anymore. Coming from a country where retro gaming kind of literally died out due to the increase in prices, lack of availability and just diminishing interest, it was truly amazing for me to see how the Japanese population treated video games in a country where secondhand goods will always hold their value regardless of what it is people tend to just have a high respect for the things they own because you never know someday you might be able to sell it and get the newest version instead of just throwing it away I think all of these factors combined with the availability of big stores like Hard Off and Book Off where you can buy and sell secondhand goods for a reasonable price made this culture where retro gaming never really died in Japan. Now this definitely took a sharp turn in the last couple of years with the influx of tourists and the borders being opened where places like Akihabara just are not the retro game heavens that they used to be. Sure, you're gonna find everything that you want in Tokyo, but it's definitely gonna come at a high price, which a lot of people are willing to pay for, so I don't think that's gonna go away anytime soon. Now, I understand that it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek title, and Bob does explain in his video that he found some really great deals outside of the city areas. And this is of course by no means a stab at Bob or his video in Japan. In fact, I think it's a great video, you should watch it. And I'm a big fan of Bob's channel myself. But it is kind of annoying when a lot of these bigger YouTubers do come to Japan and only focus on places like Tokyo and then complain about the prices. Because that's by no means a picture of what the rest of the country of Japan is like. And that's where this video comes in. I wanted to make a series of guides on how to actually find these retro games outside of the bigger cities where you guys can figure out how the local people in Japan still get their games at reasonable prices. Because like Bob mentioned in his videos, video game tourism is huge and it doesn't have to be expensive or overpriced like those tourist traps make it out to be. Be sure to check out my previous video on how to do this by train. But today we're gonna be renting a car since a lot of you asked me how to do that. So strap in, grab a cup of coffee and let's dive right into this two-part adventure on where I'll show you how to go game hunting in the Japanese countryside with a car. So looking at the map, our goal is to get to Chiba, which is this area over here. Now we thought it was a good idea to take the tunnel, which goes from Tokyo directly to Chiba. That way we would avoid a lot of traffic and there's this parking station in the middle of it, which is really cool. It's called Umi Hotaru and it's exactly where the tunnel rises up from the water and it's got everything there's a starbucks we decided to get some breakfast here and the views are truly breathtaking it's really cool you're looking over tokyo bay and even though our weather situation wasn't ideal it was kind of rainy when it's summertime and the weather is really good this is a really great destination to add on your trip it just adds so much to it now remember that these are toll roads and especially Umi Hotaru really really gets up there when it comes to tolls. I think this whole situation alone costs us about four to five thousand yen but since we were with three people and we don't do this every day we thought it was worth it. After looking some stuff up these are the hard offs and recycle shops that we wanted to find and visit which would give us roughly a route to go around this area and make our way back into Tokyo like this. Hopefully the time would allow us to visit everything all right enough looking at these maps let's go look at our first hard off all right we uh we found hard off number one and it's absolutely massive let's see what we can find all right so they have an n64 section but the prices are a bit high this uh random bunny game is 1430 i've actually never seen this before this is a card game based on alice in wonderland that looks cool 1430 i've never actually seen this before but then even 
you know, something like Masters 98 is 880, which is a bit much. But for a first hard off, it's pretty good to see that they have all of this. Like, the, look at this one. I've never seen this before in a hard off. This is a puzzle dama. It's 4,400, which is a lot, but I guess that's what it's worth because it's, it's, this is uh, definitely an uncommon N64 game. I'm not looking forward to when this is like all the games that I'm going to have to get. Yeah. They're all going to be 4,000 because they got all the cheap ones. All right, let's keep looking. Here's some Game Boy games. And yeah, they've got hamster something. I haven't seen this one for 330. I might pick this one up because it looks cute and it's 330 and it's pretty minty. And I should start getting these hamster games. Why not, right? Wait, what did you just find? Snowboat kids. Man, thousand, thousand yen. yen. You might have to get this. Nah, you gotta get this. You, if you're not getting it, I might. Because I saw the manual on Mitagadi, and I was like, maybe that might be kind Snowboat of Kids is definitely a thousand yen game. That's a great score. <laughs> All right, then there's uh, Mario Party DS for 29.70. Yeah, uh, Mario Party Advance, sorry. The Advance games are definitely also a bit high on the price. <laughs> But there are some bangers in there. Look, Game Boy Color, Harry Potter for 880. I would have bought this if it was five or three, but uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, Totoko Ham Taro for 330. No manual, but I am okay with that. I'm buying two hamster games today. This is the official start of the 4M laundry. Hamster game collection. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Then, yeah, look at how much Game Boy stuff they had. Starfy 2. Cannot go wrong with Starfy 2. 2750 is a bit much, but Starfy is a, a sought after game. How much for this Super Mario Land? 2750. That's a lot. I really want this because it was like one of the games that I had, but yeah. And here's definitely Mole Mania for 1980. This game's always a bit too expensive, but I do want this. This is a Shigeru Miyamoto game on the Game Boy, and it's it's a game that my sister had, and I've always played it a lot, and I really like it. It's a puzzle game, and uh, it was out in the West as well. I really want this, but I'll hold on because we got a long day of hunting ahead of us. We also have some Famicom stuff over here. Takeshi's Challenge, 3,300. I remember when this game was also like a 100 yen game, man. The internet really did things, huh? Man, look at all their Super Nintendo games. It really, really feels like I want to start a Super Nintendo collection as well. I have enough of them, but... 880 for SimCity 2000, I just might. Because I really like, look how mint this is. It's got the original, like, price on it. This game was eight, 9,000 when it came out. SimCity 2000 for 800. I'll leave it because we're definitely just N64 hunting today. Here's a racing game I don't see all the time. The King of Rally. Paris, Moscow to Beijing. That's like, that's pretty cool that that exists. It, it looks very unique. 16, 1760, that's a specific price. How much is Sword World over here? 1210, that looks like a cool RPG, yeah. Super Nintendo is coming at some point. I'll get like what I find for a good deal, but we're keeping the N64 mission. All right, look at all of their consoles that they have. They got the box ones over here and they have a Mega CD. I've never seen a mega CD on the shelf like this. It's usually locked away crazy with all the uh, locks and stuff in front of it. But look at that, 4,400. Then so look over here in the bottom, they have this Super Famicom carry case for 2,200. I know Jay from the Game Chase is always looking for these. Man, this is so cool. Then we have this Densha to Go controller. But there's also a golden one. I did not know this existed. 4,500 for the golden PS1 Densha to go train controller. What is this? If you got this, you get to go to the train factory or something. 
This uh, Nino Kuni looks nice for 1,100 yen. Yeah, that 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 is uh, that looks cool. It's got a, it's it's. I usually find these in the junk for like 500, but then it's all like something is missing or it's not all there, or broken. But this looks absolutely minty, and it seems to have everything in it. Okay, I lost my friends, but I think we should go to the junk section, which is over there. Let's go. Uh, they, it has to be good, right? If this hard off is, is this big, the junk section has to be good. And yeah, this is all video game related junk. They've got carts, controllers, more carts, more accessories. Then they've got the junk consoles over there, which is literally, I think every console. <laughs> they've got PlayStation, Super Famicoms, Xbox 360s, some Wii's on top of it. And then they've got some box stuff over there. Look at this Wii. This is the most unique played Wii. This probably works. Like, I bought a Wii like this. It was 800 yen and it worked. Then here we go. N64 J League for 330. Absolutely battered and bruised. But here it is. I guess, you know, that's where you can buy those. They got a GameCube over here as well. Which is 2,200. Which, yeah, I mean, I guess. Someone in Tokyo has been calling the countryside hard offs and telling them what they're paying for games over there. Don't think that's gonna last. Yeah, what a junk section. They've got carts just laying all over the place. Final Fantasy, Yoshi's Cooking, Dragon Ball Z. It's just all over the place. It's got a white PS3 in a box for 5,500. Probably broken, of course, but yeah. Now, this is... The white PS3. Let me unplug it for you so you can get a good look at it. This was a present from one of my friends over in Tokyo. This is not out in America. I don't think it is. I don't want to tell you nothing wrong. It's all white, exclusive. I put it in here because it matched. It matched my Nintendo Wii. You know what I'm saying? It matched the little Wii joystick. You got the joystick. You got the little white joystick. But PlayStation 3. They have so many junk CDs and, and PlayStation 1 and DS games that they just made a whole shelf for them, basically. That's crazy. This is all junk CDs, untested, or they have too much of uh, maybe missing a manual or whatever, but it's they're all is here. That, that is so much. I've never seen this many junk CDs. They even have them in the, the tubs as well over here, but then, yeah, it's just all there. Oh, this is a blast from the past. ATI Crossfire technology. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Look how cool they used to look at the front too. They used to have all these characters on graphics card boxes. I bought a graphics card like this for my uh, Windows XP PC and it works great. Came in a box and everything. How you doing, boss? This is crazy. Yeah, you I found this, yeah. This is like know? the rarest N64 and there's two. Yeah. It's just laying there. Yeah, and then a Sega Mega CD. Yeah, which is really amazing too. I don't think I've ever seen this just laying here. Like this color is so sought after. They me. usually have them in like the cases. Uh -huh. So like if I'm, it's if crazy, I ever, man. If I were to ever get this, I would want it in the box. But man, it's so cool. This, this book off is amazing. It's it's really, it's, it's really cool. Look, they got the Corona Trigger Perfect Bible. I found this for 100 yen at a book off, like not that long ago. And uh, yeah, it's exactly, it's basically a 100% guide to Chrono Trigger. Can you like explain to me this game down here? It's Which a one? game that I've never seen on N64. This one right here. It's in the case back there. I've actually never seen that either. 16,500. Yeah, Ichiman Oksayan is like really expensive for N64 games. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen that before. No, uh, but I'll put it on the screen. I don't know what that is. I don't know every N64 game like that. Yeah. yeah. That's I mean, crazy. This is a, this is apparently where their expensive games are then. Yeah, oh, wait, they have the PS1 with the monitor again. That is really cool. Yeah. With the, uh, what is it? The flip top. The LCD screen. Whoa, look at this big Advent Children box. I guess this is just their oversized stuff. I want to see it. I'll say it. It's 8,000 yen and it's heavy. It's Final Fantasy 7 Advent Children what? Advent Pieces Limited. What I'm going to put on screen what's in it, but it, this has to be like... A figure. No, like Cloud. He's just in here. Like, mm. there's this dude. Look at Chocobo. 
collection for the PS1 330. That's actually not a bad price for this. Might take this with me too. Yeah, there's actually some really good stuff in here. This is Wipeout for 1870. That's uh yeah, really really interesting that they just have I guess they just have so much stuff that some of it just ends up in a box. You don't really see this too much in the box. No, it's a pocket station in a box. I never I always see them hanging around. This was like the PS1's mascot. Yeah, Toro. He lives in my heart forever. Yeah, rent Toro. free. Yo, an official Wavebird in the box. 14,300, look at that. <laughs> Bro, this hard off just kind of keeps popping up, doesn't it? Oh, 14,300 for a wave. Oh, there we go. We've got the family, the, the, the Famicom Anniversary Edition Game Boy Micro, 39,600. Yeah, this is a very exciting place. If you're into this stuff, look at, they got all of these GameCube Game Boy players with the discs. There's even like Pop and Twinbee over there, 4,000 for the uh, Super Famicom. That's kind of cool. Whoa, look at the Phineas and Ferb DVD player. What? Yo, Whoa. in the box, Whoa. they got the Phineas and Ferb portable Whoa. DVD player. Yo, that's actually kind of... That's like a very Utah that. thing. <laughs> I would want that. 5,500. Bro, if I was a kid, I never watched Phineas and Ferb, to be honest. I never watched it. All right, Utah, what do you say we uh, take the show on the road? We've got a lot more ground to cover. It's hard to like, it's hard to make me leave here, but we're gonna see more hard offs after and this. And they're, all, they're mostly gonna be this big. Yeah. So yeah, of course we're gonna put them all into the description as always, but man, this is, uh, this is nice, this is fun. Are you excited about your purchase? Yeah, I'm really happy about Snowbow Kids. It's so- I'm pretty jealous oh, yeah. that you have it. I'm so jealous. Gotta get that loyalty card, baby. 170 points in hard off, baby. What? What? You gotta get pants? Yeah, I was thinking about getting pants, but <laughs> Alright, that first hard off was definitely a success. Let's see what the next one has to offer. We're mostly just playing it by ear, but this one definitely looks like it's gonna be interesting. All right, it's hard off number two. They got a vending machine, and uh, it's a lot smaller than number one, but of course, that's not gonna stop us, because we are definitely in a place that you would not get by train. I'm excited. These small ones have some good stuff sometimes. Let's find out. So for a small hard off, they really have a uh, nice game selection. It's okay, their prices seem to be okay. They've got the Game Boy Light, 16,500. <laughs> You're gonna hate me. Oh no. 500 oh, yen no. ogre grab, battle. Grab that, grab that. There we go. Alright, I'm getting All this. Alright. Ka, 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 ishi ka, pride ka, shinen ka, kakumei ka, juzoku ka, tatakai ka, wahei ka. Tatakawa nai no mo yuki desu. Ogre Battle City 4. Ogre Battle for 500. That's what I mean, man. It only cost us about like 5,000 yen in tolls. Oh, episode 1 Racer. Ooh, please be cheap. Ah, 1,500. But I've never seen this cheaper. I've seen it for a thousand. Hmm. Oh, this is this is one of those junks that you wanna. Yeah, there's another one for thirteen hundred. Yo, this is. A Yo, this is eleven hundred for Star Wars Racer. I'm buying this. Yo, it's a bit more beat up than the nice one, but they both have the manuals. So, yeah, definitely gonna do that. Oh, I don't have three thirty. I'm buying this one. Did you know that this is the launch title of the Japanese N64? Oh, wow, I didn't yeah. Know. Oh wait, J2. Three thirty. I don't have it. I'll buy it. This is Square Enix. Uh, J2. Wonder J2. Project J2, 1650. This is a good price for Wonder Project J, but I'm gonna hold off on this. Yeah. 330 for Yoshi's Story. I don't have it. I thought I did. Oh, get it. Yeah, no manual. It's crazy how this smaller hard off is so much better than the giant warehouse one. Did you uh, 1100? Yeah, I was thinking about Custom, custom Robo. Robo. This is like one of my favorite games as a, in my childhood. 1100 is what they go for. 
Then they have a little box of Game Boy stuff over here. Look at this, Hyper Load Runner. Haven't seen this in very, very long. A 200 yen Tamagotchi for the Game Boy. You're never gonna find this cheaper than this. Mm -hmm. I already have two, because I really like Tamagotchi, but yeah, you're oh. not gonna find this cheaper. This might be the best N64 lot that I've seen. Six golden coins for 2200. That is a nice price. I've seen these go for like 4,000 these days. What a great little hard off. Whoa, Sonic 2 on the Game Gear. Whoa. That's, That's kind of cool. And I'm kind of thinking about custom Dr. Here. Mario for 880 and baseball for 500 yen. How much is F1 race? 880 as well. Great. Now I got to walk with all of these games, man. It's, I've never seen it before. I've seen this on Medukari here and there. I need to get around and get all the Mario parties. I, I don't have I Mario don't 64 have either. I found a lot of the Mario parties, but like I didn't start the N64 challenge yet. So I, I didn't buy them. They were all like 300 yen. I missed out on 300 yen. Then their box of N of Super Nintendo games. Final Fight 2200. Look at their box of Super Nintendo games. Sim City. Junior over here. This is one that I don't have yet for 880. Yeah, they're very well priced. This is a really, really great hard off, especially if you're looking for stuff like this. Yeah, game. Samurai Spirits. Zero four champ. How much is it? Thousand one hundred. Oh, by the way, a tip: when you find games that are sealed like this, take off the seal as soon as you get in the car because this is heat shrink. And when the temperature changes to outside, it'll keep shrinking and it'll crush your box. It's happened to me before. Oh, shit, sure, really? That's a hard off tip. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Thank you for the hard tip. Hard off tip. A hard, hard tip from hard off. Oh, it's a purple PS2. Wow. It's the pink, pink one. This is so cool. Yeah, this was a thing. I remember. There's not a lot of these. They're pretty uncommon. Oh, this is actually a really great price. $38.50 for the Zelda color screen game and watch. I have the Mario one. I'm tempted, but I, I, I got to hold up. There's only so much you can buy in one day. So let's let's just take our stack of N64 games and uh, move along. Dude, there's a lot of games in here. There's a lot of games. Dude. They're all like 300 yen. It looks really nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. There's a controller that matches with it, I think. Can someone in chat look But like the, the blue logo on the big PS2 in general is just really good. I love the logo. You know what time it is? Junk section. Let's go to junk section. Let's go to junk section. Oh. A pink. I don't think this was ever just yellow. This might have been. It looks smoked out. It looks the same color as the DMG. 3,300. That's okay for a DMG though. Like nature is definitely healing. Hard offs like these, man. It's this is. All right. Here is the game section of the. Uh, Junk section, look at that, look at this. Stack of PSV, go to Old Faithful. Really, really nice Famicom box. It's in the junk section, but yeah. Ooh, SimCity 2000. Oh man, how much is this? Wait, what is this? SimCity 2000 for Windows. Windows 95. Oh, if this is not expensive, Check the top. I am 100, it doesn't say, it doesn't have a price on it. Maybe inside? It's probably all floppies, I'm buying this. Whoa, this is so cool. Okay. Alright, it's a shell, and yeah, it's all floppies, yeah, it's all there. Oh. This four? Yeah, I'm definitely buying it. This is probably in the junk, because, like, I don't know, 100 yen? If it's 100 yen, then... Whoa, yo. Ooh, it's an actual Tamagotchi. It's not a game. Look, you open it. Wait, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. This is how you open it. You ready? Whoa! Whoa! It's a PC game. Dream Passport. These are always sealed because you got it with the Dreamcast, and no one ever yeah, used them. Yeah. So if you want like a sealed Dreamcast game, Dream Passport is your bet. Nah, we got like five more hard offs. This is kind of cool. They're selling Lego by the color. I didn't know they sold Lego like this. This would have been really cool when I was a kid to have this around. Look at this, you get a big old bag of yellow bricks for 800 yen. That's that's actually really cool. 
This has to be the most I've ever gotten at a hard off. All right, that's it for part one. Unfortunately, if I were to make this all into one video, it would be like an hour and a half long. So I really tried to edit it down. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was a bit informative on how you can plan a trip like this. Stay tuned for the next one. It's coming out in next week where I show you guys how we eat at authentic Japanese restaurants along the way. And of course, we're gonna go over the massive haul of the stuff that we got. It's seriously a lot. So so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, would you look at the time? It's time to score great deals at our hard off. Like a hundred yen SimCity.